We will have your full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Okay, we'll see you then, Doug. A Clyde woman could spend the next 40 years behind bars after being convicted today in a home invasion and burglary that resulted in murder. Erica Rowe was found guilty today in the death of 80-year-old Frank Rios. The victim's daughter says she's pleased with the outcome, but the case isn't over. Sharia Davis is live to explain where the investigation stands. Yes, yeah, Sandy Rio says one chapter is finished, but the book isn't closed just yet as she waits for more arrests to be made in connection with her father's death. God, I hope there's an end to this soon. It's, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Sandy Rio says this case isn't about vengeance, it's about justice. Today she was there when Erica Rowe was convicted of complicity to not only murder but aggravated robbery, burglary, and felonious assault. Although she's facing 43 years to life in prison, Sandy hopes she never gets out. It would be my fondest wish to see her get life in prison without the possibility of parole. She took a life. It's fair. You take a life, you give a life. These are my father's ashes. Sandy says the morning of her father's death plays over and over in her head. Investigators say on that November 2008 morning, Roe, along with an alleged accomplice, robbed 80-year-old Frank and his wife. They were both beaten with a baseball bat. Frank died, but his wife survived. Sandy says her stepmother has fully recovered, but there are many sleepless nights. It was a marriage that would have lasted a lifetime. Seneca County is working on it, and... They impressed me. You know, they, they got this far. I was like, okay, I'm waiting to see how they do in round two. Roe will be sentenced on Friday since the investigation continues. If you know anything, you're still being urged to call the Seneca County Sheriff's Office. The number's at the bottom of the screen. Reporting live, Sharia Davis, Fox, Toledo News. Thank you, Sharia. A methane